How dare you take my purse? You don't ever steal from me. You know. What's up, House of Banks? It's your girl Joy back with another video. This one is gonna be fast. I don't have my light. I don't have anything. I don't have on makeup. I don't have on anything. Oh well. <laughs> okay. So, sorry about the noise. But this is gonna be a quick video. I'm just hanging out with y'all. So, as many of you already know, am I showing stuff? You know I gotta be a minister. <laughs> um, so we're still in the process of moving and I know it's noisy. Just bear with me, okay? So calm down. I am so hungry, I can eat, I don't know, some food. That's what I can do, eat some food and a lot of it. Kitchen is a mess. Like I said, I'm in the middle of moving. I have an appointment at three o'clock. It is like 2.10. I can't go anywhere without any food right now. So how y'all doing? Then we gotta come back to the house cause then gas is not turned on at the new house. So child, we making it do what it do. So we're gonna cook and eat here tonight um, through our showers cause you know if you don't have no gas, you don't have no hot water, okay? So I'm just hungry. And then Bobby and I got sidetracked cause we started hanging stuff in the new house. Hold on a minute, calm down. Okay, we do have eggs. I'm hungry, I'm gonna make me a egg and bacon sandwich cause that's how I felt. And then I got some sausage. We got sidetracked, hanging stuff. She was like, you know you have your appointment at three o'clock. I was like, dang! All right, hurry up! So, I don't know. Just cook these up real quick. Cook me a little bit of bacon. And then I'm gonna scramble me some cheesy eggs. And, you know, I don't like scrambling eggs. I don't mind cooking them. I just don't like the process of having to crack them, scramble, even taste them. I don't know why. It's just ridiculous. So what we're having tonight, we're making tacos. And I don't know how much battery I have left. I just went to check to see if I have my battery, my additional battery on the, did I already ask y'all how y'all doing? Okay, you know I had an energy drink. Y'all already know I don't need any energy drinks to go with my ADHD that I already have, but they taste good. So anyway, we're making tacos tonight. I don't know, maybe we'll come back tonight. Maybe we'll go live. And, we, oh. and then y'all know I can eat, I love food. Y'all know I love me some food, so I'm making me a baked sandwich. I think my eyes might be bigger than my stomach right now, so I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna eat half of this. Yeah, I can eat that. I got now I'm gonna put butter and I'm gonna put it in a toast oven. So, okay. Child, what is this? Oh, hot dog. We don't got no sprinkle cheese? Oh, I'm gonna be mad. cheese on my egg shot. I'm sorry. Okay, let me pick up my neck. Let me act like I got a little bit of sense, y'all. Okay. I'm just gonna crack the eggs up in here, y'all. Look, I can't be late for my appointment. That's the one thing I always say. No matter how broke I am. Oh, damn, damn, damn. The battery's already flashing. I don't even know what my extra battery is. I couldn't even begin to tell you. Maybe I'll try to rest with my phone. Oh God. Calm down. Think, Joy. Look, how much life I got on my phone? No, I did charge my phone last night. I'm good on my phone. Okay, anyway, let me crack these eggs. Y'all know how to crack eggs in one hand? <laughs> so anyway, so what we have left, we got all the big stuff out of the house. We got, it. I'll talk to y'all until the battery go dead. So that's what, that's what it is. So, oh, 
y'all weren't supposed to see that one right there. Crack your waist, and then you kind of have to manipulate your hand to get around the crack, and then you separate your fingers, and so on and so forth. But I got so much to update y'all when I move. I did a little bit last night in my cute little bedroom. My bedroom was cute. I am back. You're on my phone now. Look, don't be looking at my face. It is what it is, okay? Okay. Ooh, my eggs, child. Child. Ugh, not my eggs. I got too many things going on. The kids are texting me. and Oh, I'm just going to throw this bacon up in there. It's going to be some curly bacon. And you just throw the whole thing in there. And you're not trying to get it flat. That's how my mama used to do it. And Bobby's talking about, can you bring me an egg sandwich? Maybe you should have brought your butt along with me to the house. How about that? But she's trying to do homework. I have stuff to do. Oh, but see, Clint is see this thing and he'll eat all the bacon without care or concern for anybody else. He'll just eat it all. So, let me give y'all a tea real quick. For the house, we got, I would say with the house, we are probably, I would say 80% there. I still have stuff on the patio. It needs to be cleaned and wiped down. Maybe we'll just bring it to the house and I'll clean it later. My room, I brought over some of my clothes. There's still a lot. So the house is coming along very nicely. I'm gonna start these eggs. It's coming along. Like I said, we already have a lot of stuff, so we are downsizing. I'm gonna start these eggs. I'm just hungry. I don't know how much time I'm on a phone to not another time. So anyway, so that's the update with the house. I'm my guess is that we'll be fully, fully out of the house. by next weekend, let's just say next weekend, but I'm going to turn the electricity, I'm gonna turn all the utilities off. I'm probably going to do that Tuesday or Wednesday to have everything shut off, you know, cause you still wanna be able to get in, um, into the house. But then here I go, I call myself, I only get 30 minutes for lunch, but by the time I get all the kids out of the classroom, I'm down to 25 minutes. So then I'm rushing to heat up my food, then I'm trying to call, you know, utility people. By the time they put me on hold, I got five minutes. No time for nothing, I'm rushing back to class. So I'm like, I just can't win with this one. So I just gave Bobby um, all the information for all the utilities to have everything transferred over. So I'll just have her do it. I mean, she's good with, you know, being responsible and taking care of stuff like that. So she's just going to have to take care of that for me. I, I just don't have the time. I even had somebody send me something through um, to the post office. I can't make it to the post office. My post office closed at 4.30. I'm not walking out of the school until 5. The kids leave at 4. Then the teachers have to sit in the hallway, stand in the hallway to make sure they all get out of the building. By the time I make it back to my classroom, it's 4.30. That's not grading papers. That's not reading papers. That's nothing. So there is enough time. And then when you have your off period, you're planning with your team for the next. Baby. Some days I don't know if I'm coming or going. I just, I just need time. I wish I just had a a good week off just to sort everything out. And then combined with the move, it doesn't make it easier. The move, <laughs> you know. So, and I'm trying to get the kids situation situated. Now I have to get their buses rerouted. It's too much, it's too much. Okay, let me get start getting my bread ready. I'm hungry, y'all. This is, this is this how you behave when you hungry. You be multitasking. And so I'm going to put some butter up on here. This is big enough, y'all? I'm going to put some butter and put it in a toaster oven. So I'm going to butter my bread, okay? So 
And then, but school has been going well. Like every day I'm like, what did I do today? Or what didn't I do? What is somebody else complaining about? But all the kids love me. All the parents love me. <laughs> Parent uh, open house night was awesome. And it was great. I just need, I wish I had a secretary. I need somebody to organize my life. Anybody want that job? Now I'm gonna put my bread in the toaster oven. Can y'all see me? Okay, turn it. Heat up on these eggs. My bacon is almost done. So let me tell you. So we're reading the story in class, right? I like a lot of cheese on my eggs. You, you guys like cheese on your eggs or you don't? So we're reading the story, a short story called Thank You Ma'am by Langston Hughes. And it's actually a pretty decent story and you see how the character changes throughout the story. It's just like two pages, two and a half pages or something like that. So my eggs are good, I don't wanna overcook my eggs. So it's about two pages, make sure everything's turned off. So it's about um, two pages, so it's about a boy who um, tries to rob this lady and snatch her purse, blah, blah, blah. But she shows the boy kindness and so on and so forth because there was a point in her life where she too um, was on hard times and she did things that she wasn't so proud of. So she empathized with the boy, took him home, fed him, gave him money. He said he wanted to buy some new suede shoes. But long story short, so I have my co-teacher. My co-teacher, um, I share I share the classroom with her. You know, I don't let her feel like, oh no, this is not your class. No, go ahead and teach. Y'all about to see me eat like a monster because the sister is hungry. So I let her teach. You know, I'm like, first three periods, I'm like, you know, I jump in here and there or I'll do the opening, or I'll do the first class and model the first class for her, and then I'll let her take over. You know, we're a team, or we'll tag team throughout the class period, whatever. So she's really this, this special ed specialist. So she has specific children that she should be working on in class, but she shares the love, all the kids. All the kids need a little bit. So y'all know I'm extra. Y'all already know that. And this lady, she is so smart. She's smart, smart. <laughs> I mean, like, freakishly smart. And so she read the story, the first two class periods. And I may, I'm, I'm probably going to talk to her. And she read the story, the first two class periods. So she had to step out the third period. So my, so second, third, and fourth period, I, I really share it with her. So fifth, sixth, and seventh period, I'm by myself. So I was like, and then I'm usually tired. Six, seven period, I'm tired, your girl is tired. Ooh, wait, let me, ooh, child, I'm burnt, burnt, I'm red. Now this is a good golden, good golden, yes. That's that good golden. I don't know what kind of golden y'all like. I like a good golden. It got butter all over it. Ah! Okay, let me put this sandwich together. So I share it with her. Hold on. This one's gonna have bacon and sausage. Look at that. So we got, I don't want my stuff rolling off trying to show y'all. Ouch. Anyway, real quick, I'm just gonna take a couple of bites and tell y'all a story, then I'm gonna go. So she wasn't there. Well, oh, I'm gonna cut this in half. Y'all know I eat a big sandwich. Yup, I'm gonna eat this whole sandwich. She wasn't there, so I started reading the story. And y'all already know I'm dramatic. You, you know that. It's just who I am. It's almost like when I get in front of the kids or a group of people that I'm speaking to, it is showtime. It's just who I am. My biological dad was an entertainer, so I'm pretty sure I got it from him. So I don't remember any of the lines. So one of the lines could have been, I don't know, I'm gonna make it up. So, you know, 
So I'm, this is in quotation marks. This is quotation marks, right? And so it could just say, I don't, I'm gonna make it up. I don't remember, but it's somewhere along the line. So I was like, how dare you take my purse? You don't ever steal from me. You know, I get into character. I get into character, you know, it was kind of scary, but the lady's character, she was a big woman. She had a big purse. Well, it said large woman, large purse. So the book is describing this woman. So I'm thinking of like a black lady, powerful lady, cause she's standing up to this person who's trying to rob her of her purse, right? I feel like I'm in class right now. <laughs> I get into it, I get hyped, right? And so I go into character and my co-teacher's like, you know, later on, she's like, you know, you read that better than me, right? <laughs> but the thing is, it's just who I am. I'm, I'm theatrical. I'm extra. Everything I'm going to do is extra. But on the flip side, she is so smart that I envy, not in a negative way, I envy how intelligent she is. I don't have that. You know, I, I'm all right. I'm all right. But she's smart on a totally different level. So that's why, you know, when she said that, I kind of felt bad. But then I was like, but I'm not as smart as you. You know, we both have our different gifts. And that's why I think it makes us a good team. But I don't want her to compare certain things that I do to her. Because I can't compare certain things that she does to me. Because I just don't have it. So you see, that's why we make a great team. And I'm going to talk to her. But I was like, that I don't, I don't want you to say that. Of course, anything that's theatrical or, you know, decorating, you know, whatever, that may just be my what, what I'm, my gift. But she's she's so smart. I'm not saying I'm not smart. She's freakish. I'm not freakishly smart. Okay, I gotta work hard at some things. All right. Mm -hmm. I got my sandwich. I got my sandwich. <laughs> mm. Mm. almost three o'clock. I have eaten nothing. This tastes like the best thing on the planet. This is not even a seat in this house. I can't even sit anywhere, y'all. With that said, I'm gonna go sit on the stairs. Mm, hot. Finish this amazing egg sandwich. It's so good. Mm. Mm. I'm good, y'all.